A mysterious creature, huge, fast, and lethal, is lurking somewhere in the dark. People claim to have seen a giant shark here and there all over the planet. Maybe it's the Megalodon, an ancient predator that's believed to be long gone. The Megalodon, which means big tooth, is the largest shark ever to roam the Earth's seas and oceans. It reportedly lived 23 to 3.6 million years ago and was truly enormous. Its bite was more powerful than that of a T-Rex. And no wonder! Not only did the animal have super strong jaws, but its teeth also reached 7 inches in length. That's as long as a small hedgehog. Even better, the Megalodon had about 300 teeth growing in at least 6 rows. The shark got rid of them as soon as they wore down. The shark itself could grow up to 59 feet. It's twice the length of a London double-decker bus. It was heavy, too. While a fully grown T-Rex weighed about 8 tons, a large Megalodon's weight reached 50 to 60 tons, as much as 9 mature African elephants. With no competitors, the immense shark was a real king of the oceans. It even hunted whales. Surely, such a majestic creature couldn't disappear without a trace. And indeed, there have been several cases when witnesses were sure they had seen the Meg. But could it be just their fear talking? In July 1916, the New Jersey coast of the U.S. was left terrified after a series of shark attacks. It happened during an oppressive heat wave when hundreds of beachgoers tried to escape the heat near the water. People described the culprit that caused all that havoc as a giant shark, much bigger than any regular one. Since then, scientists have been debating which shark species was involved in those accidents. The most popular guesses have been the bull shark and the great white. While swimming in a tropical sea pretty much anywhere in the world, you might come across a massive shark. The animal's length could reach up to 40 feet. The largest specimen ever seen was a mind-boggling 62 feet long. It's the length of four large hippos. The creature also has a colossal gaping mouth, up to 5 feet in a large specimen. So, warm waters, huge size, formidable jaws… Is it the megalodon? Nah, just a whale shark. Despite its impressive bulk, this creature is slow-moving and totally docile. It may grow as long as the Meg used to, but isn't likely to be as heavy. The whale shark is a filter feeder, and its favorite food is plankton. The animal also hates low temperatures. Any colder than 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's already too cold for the shark. The first pictures of a huge shark roaming the Pacific Ocean, not far from Guadalupe Island, appeared in 1999. The creature got the name Deep Blue. It could be distinguished from others of its kind by a wavy pattern separating its gray back and white belly. But even though some people claimed it could be the infamous Megalodon, experts concluded it was a female white shark, the largest they had ever seen. The average length of a male white shark is 11 to 13 feet. Females are bigger, up to 16 feet. But Deep Blue reached 22 feet in length. No wonder people were confused. For the last time, Deep Blue was spotted in 2013 near the western coast of Mexico's Baja, California. But look, there's another jumbo shark that can be met in any part of the world. The largest specimens reach 32 feet long and weigh about 5 tons. Judging from the shark's size, it could be, if not the megalodon itself, but one of its relatives. And again, a wrong guess. That's the basking shark. It prefers subpolar seas, with temperatures not higher than 58 degrees, even though some of these animals do migrate to warmer places. Like whale sharks, basking sharks are harmless and don't bother snorkelers or divers. Basking sharks have loads of small teeth, but they don't use them when feeding. Instead, they swim with their huge 3-foot-wide mouths open and swallow plankton. A 16-foot-long basking shark can filter nearly 500 tons of water per hour. It seems people who claim to have seen the Meg mistook large size but more or less common sharks for the ancient super predator. But what if they were right? And the giant shark did still exist. Sharks regularly shed and replace teeth. It means that people all over the planet would keep finding huge teeth while beachcombing. People actually discovered the Megalodon existed through the monster shark's fossilized teeth, dating back 23 to 2.6 million years ago. But scientists have not managed to find teeth that would be less than 2.6 million years old. 
Plus, such a tooth would be not only way larger than a regular shark's tooth, but also have a recognizable shape. An expert wouldn't miss such a finding. If there was one megalodon, there would be others as well. The megalodon was an apex predator. It means the sharks didn't have any other creatures to be afraid of. It probably had to compete for food with other species, but there was no animal that could hunt the meg. In such conditions, it would be strange if the megalodon population didn't grow. Now imagine even a hundred of these 60-ton animals. At least a couple of them would be bound to be spotted by people. The megalodon was at the top of the food chain, and its diet included large marine animals, such as dolphins or whales. And since the shark was massive and fast, it had great caloric needs and gobbled down more than one ton of food a day. Researchers would definitely take note if big numbers of large marine vertebrates went missing. The megalodon lived in tropical regions all over the world. Its fossils have been found in many corners of the planet, including South and North America, Europe, Asia, and Africa. These sharks weren't rare, neither were they elusive. And these days, new species are discovered either because they inhabit very specific and unexplored places, or because there are very few representatives of the kind. Another reason why the megalodon wouldn't be able to avoid people is that the whale shark preferred tropical and subtropical, which means warm, waters. The creature wouldn't be hiding in the deep, unexplored parts of the ocean. It would be simply too cold for it there. If the megalodon did exist, it would be lurking near the surface, where the water is warmer. If the megalodon existed, the world ocean would look very different. Large animals have a great influence on ecosystems. By the way, there's a theory that the meg went extinct all those years ago because the changing oceans didn't have enough food for the giant carnivore. Well, there's no proof they could or do support the giant shark these days. Scientists have discovered whale bones with the megalodon bites and slashes on them. But the latest of these fossils date back 2.6 million years ago. There aren't any more recent findings with the mega shark's bite marks on them. In other words, experts state there's simply no way the megalodon still exists. No fossils newer than from 2 million years ago found, no huge shadows hiding in the depths, no nothing.